Welcome back. You're watching our special show, Game Changers. Our next guest, Bhanu Chopra, is a serial startup entrepreneur whose software product helps the hospitality and travel business provide the best rates. A B2B database of live hotel tariffs and air ticketing rate gain allows hotels and online travel agents comparative prices of more than 1,300 hotels and airlines globally. Now, started with just $100,000 in 2004, today rate gain is worth $14 million. And at the Emerging India Awards 2009, it was voted the most promising SME to watch out for. If innovation allows the travel and hospitality industry to offer the best rates and make a gain. Meet the mind behind the technology, Bhanu Chopra, founder of Rate Gain. A computer science and finance graduate from the Indiana University Bloomington, Bhanu turned entrepreneur in the U.S. with his startup IT consulting firm, RIV Consulting. But when the dot-com bubble burst, Bhanu began to look east. India offered an attractive destination with comparative cost advantages and an enormous talent pool. So this techie returned home in 2004, invested $100,000 and set up Rate Gain. A B2B software products business, Rate Gain provides online analysis of air ticket prices, hotel tariffs and available inventory. This allows businesses to access the best rates on one platform and offer their prices competitively. But starting up in India was not as easy. When I launched uh, Rate Gain in the beginning, uh, obviously all my work experience had been in the U.S. Um, so all the product ideas that I got were to address the U.S. marketplace. So at that point, the online travel agents in the U.S. you know, were really uh, doing very well. And there was a new emerging trend where users would go on to different uh, OTA sites like Expedia, Travelocity, price line and try to do price comparison to find the best deal for that air, for that airfare for that hotel so um, that sort of uh, you know got me thinking that it would be a great opportunity to build a product that would do this price comparison and um, around that time we had heard of another company that was trying to get into uh, launching a price comparison site for travel in the US as well um, but I quickly realized, given the fact that I was moving to India, logistically it would be very hard to try to market a site in the U.S. while you're sitting here and you're bootstrapping it. You don't have the financial muscle or the venture capital. So I flipped the business model to be more B2B, where we would actually sell these technologies to the online travel players themselves so that they could benchmark what rates that they have versus their competitions. To provide hotels and travel agents this cost comparison advantage, Rate Gain offers five online product solutions. Comparative price analysis, inventory management, online marketing and search intelligence gives users reports and analysis collated from a database of more than 450 websites. Rate gain solutions are retailed either on demand or as a SaaS product with prices ranging from $3,000 to $5,000 for an annual subscription. Targeting a niche market, Rate Gain serves customers that include 35 online travel agents like British Airways, Air Miles, STA Travels, Flareview as well as 5,000 hotels like Barcelo, Taj, ITC and Lemon Tree. For different products, as we are a multi-product company, uh, they have different USPs and they are different um, needs that they address. So I'll talk about the rate shopping product first. So it's a business intelligence tool that actually allows a hotelier or an OTA to know where do they lie in the marketplace from a competitive standpoint. Um, and as a result of that information, they are able to optimize uh, their pricing and be competitive and as a result of which, you know, there's bound to, uh, bound for them to get an ROI uh, because of, you know, the revenue potential that they achieve as a result of our data. Uh, on the other product, which is our channel management tool, which we sell to the hoteliers, it's basically about allowing a hotel to work with multiple sites uh, to, to have multiple distribution channels. So, for instance, if you think about a hotel today, 
you know, they would largely work with four or five websites like a Make My Trip or a Clear Trip or a Yatra. But not to forget, a lot of these hotels have a lot of um, foreign traffic that comes in. So, and and who do who do those people check? And they check usually those regional websites like Expedia, Travelocity. So what we are allowing the hotel to do is work with multiple sites which they couldn't probably do manually and in addition have aggregated functions in it so that they can do a better yield management across their distribution channel. Second on the Deloitte list of fast 50 tech companies in India in 2008, Rate Kane today is a $14 million company with a team of over 150 employees spread across the UK, US and India. Coming up are additional services like price comparisons of car rental and cruise line companies. With plans to launch an IPO by 2011, Bhanu is looking at increasing his customer base and building the Rate Kane brand. Making Rate Kane the most promising SME at this year's Emerging India Awards. We already have, uh, you know, a plethora of products that we can sell. Uh, I think we haven't yet reached that tipping point. So the idea is to penetrate those products much deeper into the marketplace, into existing geographies that we operate, like Europe and the U.S., but also now start exploring other geographies like. You know, the China and Asia and India. Well, more power to you, Banu. On that note, time for another break on Game Changers. But when we return, we take you straight to the awards ceremony and talk to all the other winners across various categories. That's more when we return.